He was awesome, best speaker I've ever heard. Yeah, I really appreciated Dan coming again and sharing his appreciation for all the soldiers coming from Army Ranger and a shout out to all the Army Rangers out there. Rangers lead the way. So second time I've seen Dan Clark, it was a, it was a great experience. Um, he left a great message for all of us. Very inspiring. I should have the courage to live out to my potential. Just inspiration to keep going and, and to know that you have to find your purpose and to continue on in life. I had an extraordinary experience on October 23rd, 2010, where I had an opportunity to go up into the edge of space in a U-2 reconnaissance aircraft. It's a classified mission, but I can tell you at 70,000 feet, you can see two thirds of the state of California. At 80,000 feet, you see mapped outlines of America. And at 90,000 feet, you tear up and actually feel like you can reach out and touch the face of God. For four hours, I sat in the sounds of silence looking at the curvature of the earth, pondering eternity and where I fit in. Me, one of billions of people, does my life really matter? Sitting at a 16 mile high perspective on our wonderful earth, do you know what crossed my mind? Could we be more than just mere mortal beings living on a small planet for a short season? And if so, what is the purpose of life? Why are we really here? And when we landed, you know what occurred to me? Everything we can take with us when we die, I had a board with me on that aircraft. It changed my perspective on life and living, and it inspired me to write my 21st book, The Art of Significance, Achieving the Level Beyond Success. Spoke 23 times on 12 bases and out of the USS Harry S. Truman. Aircraft carried over 30,000 of our bravest men and women. I was over there firing up our troops. I was there for 16 days, Afghanistan, Iraq. I honor our troops, I love them so much. Touched my life forever. Talk about one moment in time, changing us and transforming us forever, unbelievable. I played football for 13 years. One of my football teammates was drafted into the National Football League in the second round by the Philadelphia Eagles. After two years in the NFL, at the top of his game, he's traded to my Oakland Raiders. After four years in the NFL, at a superstar status, he walks out of practice one day, quits never to play again. Why? Same thing that motivates these professional athletes is the same thing that motivates you and me, expectations. The question and answer that must be answered daily, minute by minute, does your life matter? Are you significant? The Art of Significance, A-R-T, I turned into an acronym. Awareness, Refinement, and Transformation. 53 elite athletes are sitting in the, in the room. Visualize a sea of testosterone steroid poster children. <laughs> Captain, assistant coach holding a broomstick 12 inches off the floor. Superstar is standing in front of the room, in front of the bar. And I engage him in conversation. Hey, you think you can jump over that 12 inch high broomstick? Reaction's always the same. <laughs> Why are you wasting my time? Are you stupid? So I changed the question. Will you jump over that 12 inch high broomstick? And their response is always the same. They pacify me, skip over the bar, stare me down so I stare back. And here's where the teaching begins. Why did you only jump 12 inches high when you and your teammates know you can jump 38 inches high? And the answer is always the same. Because that's all you asked me to do. How high is your bar? <laughs>